going on YouTube universe welcome to another episode of auction life today we are going to do more of a daily vlog we're going to run some errands today we're going to go to the post office and we sold a pair of Doc Martin sneakers or, or shoes on Poshmark so I got them all packed up and ready to go um, we are going to get our post office box today and that way in this video we will be able to put the address on the bottom in the description actually we may add it earlier my editor might do a little blur but if not it'll definitely be today we're going to hit the booth because it rained all weekend so usually when the weekends come and it's raining we get a lot more traffic through the booth because people want to get out but they don't want to really necessarily be outside so we're going to go see what's missing from the booth so we know what we have to take later this week uh we're going to hit two thrift stores today we're going to hit one it's called liberty thrift and we're going to hit the salvation army in quakertown so we got some fun activities planned for the day if everybody notices I got me a new hat one of the perks of being with Habitat for Humanity is we're also in the Allentown Business Coalition and we had our monthly meeting at the Yingling Brewery which was really cool um, after the meeting was over we got to take the tour we got to do the testing you know taste testing and all it's a really neat place to go if you're into history it's the oldest brewery in the United States um, and to be totally honest when you have a beer on tap at the company where they make it it just tastes so good but that being said we're gonna go and see what today brings us so stick around should be fun uh, first stop down and the struggle is real <laughs> that was an ordeal getting a post office box. I had all the paperwork filled out. Um, added my editor's name so she can get the other key. And they want two forms of ID. I brought them three, but the other two weren't on his list. So he's like, well, I need this. I need that. I need an insurance card or a registration for a car. I came out to the car which I don't have my truck with me and lo and behold I can't find the registration or insurance that is current long story short I'm gonna have to go there tomorrow and give him it he gave me the P.O. box I wrote a check for the P.O. box and his machine that scans the checks broke <sighs> just I was in there for half an hour but did get it settled got our p.o box good to go that'll be in the description um now we're off to the booth joy 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 we are just about to the booth um what i'm going to do there today is i want to go in we started our sale at the beginning of this month and hopefully with the rainy weekend a lot of stuff is gone so what I'm going to do today is I want to go in and kind of take an inventory of what is gone as opposed to what I may need to bring later this week whether it be smalls for the shelves or display items or possibly furniture or pictures um, this way I try and stop by on Mondays after the weekend because they're closed Tuesday and Wednesday and it gives me a chance to see what I have to pull out of the inventory to put in or that I have to go pick up so usually I go to junk auctions on Monday I skipped it this Monday only because it been it's been raining all weekend I saw not many pictures online of what of anything that I was really interested in and I think everything would just be too saturated and soaked. So, usually I'll stop there on the way back from the junk auction. But, today, 
making a special trip. So we're just pulling up to the place now. We'll see how crowded the parking lot is. Now, on Monday afternoon, I don't expect there to be many people here because they are at work. And I would be correct that basically the only people here are the staff. So we're going to go in and poke our head in and see what we can find. See what's going. Stick around. All right. On first glance, I don't see much missing. Uh, oh, hey now. There was something big here. We're missing a lot of stuff over here. There was a cabinet hanging there. That's now gone. There was a dresser here. That's now gone. Um, there was a there was a Victorian album in there. That's gone. There's a key missing. Anything off of here? Nope. How about over here? There's not much missing out of there. We are missing... One of our Coke trays is gone. Yeah, so we're missing a couple things. We'll do a little revamp in here and put some stuff back. See what we're doing. Anything missing over there? I thought there was something there. And looks like somebody's been going through the buttons. Buttons, buttons. Yep, so we got a little bit of shuffling to do. So I'm probably going to have to bring another piece of furniture. And I'm going to have to bring something to hang on the wall. So, that being said, we are going to rearrange a little bit around here. And then we're going to head to the thrift store. I'll be back. All right. Well, we did get rid of a lot of stuff. There was some stuff missing, so I rearranged the booth a little bit with what's there. Um, it does look a little sparse where that dresser used to be. Uh, when, we, when I showed you our shop... You saw I had this big candle display thing in there that like spun. I think that's going to be the next item to come to the booth. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of telling one of the girls about it that works there. And she sells candles and she's really interested in it. Which is not a good thing to tell another vendor because the price just went up. I told her I would give her a decent enough deal. Uh, I don't have any money invested in it. So, it's not going to be a huge loss if I have to sell it quick. It's big, it's bulky. Um, but yeah, now we are off to the first thrift store, Liberty Thrift. Uh, this one is a little more upscale than some of the, um, like, care and shares and stuff where they drop stuff in a bin and you just root through the bins. This has a little more higher end items so we want to pick up anything cool that we see they actually have an antique section which technically is an antiques it's just glassware so that's the first stop or next stop I should say so we're off
watched another YouTuber and Scotty Buchanan and the need sounds vaguely familiar. So for a dollar I'm gonna give it a try. Stay here. Uh, basically what I'm looking for is pings. This one's a rat. of that to the golf club lady and asked her if that was the if that was worth if that golf club was worth anything but she said no um the name looked vaguely familiar i had seen that name before and i had thought that i had seen a youtube video where somebody had picked that up at a yard sale or a garage sale and was worth a lot of money apparently that's not one of the handmade ones that's a different Thing all together so hey could have been in the right place at the right time so it's like buying a scratch off ticket and that one wasn't a winner so we'll head on to the next store we didn't pick anything up in there uh, I didn't see anything in there that I was interested in for the price that they had it listed so we're gonna go to the Salvation Army one and see if we can find something there here we go all right well i stopped at the advanced auto parts because i needed something for the truck and you never know when you're going to find a good deal i picked this up it's the 50th anniversary hot wheels little vw bug red line with the little pack with the little tag in there brand new they call this uh, card stocked cars because it's you know it's still got the card to it. it after it was on sale 
it ended up being 45 cents so i don't know what it's worth i'll have to look it up but i know it's a lot worth a lot more than 45 cents apparently you can collect all of those different ones there and make the set so maybe i'll look that up when i get home and i bought this for the back of my truck just because i thought it was cool and i'm like a batman fanatic so we are at the salvation army thrift store and i'm hoping that they have restocked after the holiday rush since it's a little later in the afternoon we're gonna try and pick up some some deals and see what we can come up with so let's go see what kind of deals we can pick up today Well, their store was a little barren. They hadn't refilled everything from the weekend like I thought they would have. I mean, there was some stuff in there, but it wasn't anything great. Everything was pretty much picked through. So we didn't really pick up much today. Um, what we did get, uh, we picked up a couple pair of picked up a pair of shorts for Q for work. We're working in the yard. 
and I picked him up a pair of jeans. A little tough without him being there, so I don't know exactly what size he is, but these are Vans jeans, and they're in really good shape. So if they do not fit him, which they may not, they will definitely be something we can put on Poshmark, or he may grow into them. The other thing I picked up, I paid 13 bucks for this, and then it was 15% off of that. And I picked up a nice rug. See if I can get this without falling down. Sorry for the darkness. I mean, it's not a great one. It was probably an Ollie's. Probably from Ollie's. Wilshire Collection. Serenity. But the main purpose of buying this was at the end of this month, we were going to go from two booths back to one. And I kind of need something for the floor. And this is a pretty decent size, so this should work. So that's all we picked up today besides a little matchbox didn't seem like a very productive day today although we did get our post office box we did get some packages sent out you know check the booth all in all you know got a couple things done so i think that's about going to wrap it up for this episode and before i go the episode previous to this one was my editor's first video. I took the camera and she went to a rummage sale. So if you haven't watched that one yet, go back and check it out. Give her some encouraging comments because I think she's awesome. And I hope you do too. Um, it's a lot harder to be in front of the camera than one might think. So, you know, check it out. Give her some thumbs up. She deserves it. She puts in a lot of work. And now I am going to do my stupid dad joke. But be oh wait, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to edit backwards, hon. Before I do that, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Um, we did send out. By the time this video comes out, Mr. Uh, Mr. Timothy Miller should have already received his prizes. I picked up the last piece of it today and I can't tell you what it is I'm gonna show you as I box it and once we receive word that he's gotten it I'll show you what I will put that clip in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that as I just dropped the rug on the ground uh, junk auction next week back to the routine so I might even do an update of the habitat house this week because we have made some substantial progress on that. And now for my stupid dad joke. And it is this. I won't do it to you again, honey. You can put the words across. <laughs> um, do you know why I lost my job at the calendar factory? Oh, I took a couple days off. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Keep living that auction life.